Oi YouTube Sticker, how you're doing? Today I'm going to show you the Cloud Microphone CL1 Cloud Lifter, which is an awesome little piece of kit. Now, it's one of those sort of things you probably think, I don't need that, when actually it's so useful, it's unreal. So to demonstrate this, I've got a short SM7B dynamic microphone. Uh, it's going into a channel splitter, and I've split the microphone into uh, two channels. One's going straight into an Apogee Duet, the other's going through the Cloud Lifter and into the Apogee Duet. So I better tell you what this device does. It basically takes 48 volt phantom power and converts it into ultra clean gain, up to 25 dB of it. So what it enables you to do is to run your mic pre's uh, more in their comfort zone. Stuff like uh, passive ribbon mics, dynamic microphones, they're notoriously hard to drive. Things like the RE20, the SM7B, um, you know, anything that needs that high gain um, on your preamp, um, this is going to, you know, play into your favor, be very, very useful tool. And what it really enables you to do is, it, especially with budget preamps or sort of middle of the road, um, it enables you to drive your preamp more in its comfort zone, sort of, you know, halfway. So, uh, a great analogy, I think, is if you get your hi fi, switch it on, no music playing, turn the volume full up, you'll hear hiss in the background. Same with the mic preamp. Uh, the harder you drive it, the more noise you get in there. I'm very lucky I've got an Apogee Duet and I've got all my RME kit, so the preamps are very clean, but it's still obviously in is part of the nature of microphone preamps. Um, but of course, the, when you drive the preamp hard, that noise is then recorded along with your audio. So I think price point wise which will come to at the end this is a great piece of kit so to demonstrate this more effectively I have got a, I just created a little logic project uh, which I'll open now for you and you can see I've got two channels of audio one muted one uh, not at the moment we we'll just flick between the two as we go Ugh, cables in the way um, and we're also I can show you the preamp stages here so uh, move window so you can see here we have both levels about the same and if we open up the mix control unit over here which I'll move over on top you can see now that we're both about the same on the mic pre's which is great but look at the difference in gain one's at 64 one's at 43 so it's a difference of 21 dB of gain there um, and you can see even on the Apogee Duet I'm nearly I've got 11 dB left uh, headroom which isn't a lot really so you can see the difference with the cloud lifter engaged I've got bags left to play with so how do they sound do they sound the same check them out I'll flick between the two and you can make your own mind up so this is uh, the SM7B straight into the Apogee Duet pretty typical sound there's uh, the microphone set flat there's no bass roll off or anything and there's nothing in the signal chain and this is with the cloud lifter pretty identical in fact you wouldn't really know any difference apart from I can go in and crank that gain up so it's a really smart little piece of kit it's about the size of mm, I don't know really it's about the size of my hand uh, it's built like a tank comes a little cardboard box and you get instructions packaging a little velcro strap so you can clamp it around your mic stand so it's you know place it where you want some more packing stuff and a little leaflet oh and this is really cool I forgot about this it's a magnet badge we've got nothing for it to stick on yeah and you get a little basic user's guide and some stuff about warranty great piece of kit though price wise well if you can find them in the UK, which I'm hoping they will start popping up regularly in all your good retailers, because I think they are, uh, for me as a studio guy, I think it's an awesome piece of kit. Um, I think they're going to be about £140. So they're not dirt cheap, but this is something that's going to last you a lifetime. Like I say, built like a tank. Uh, just make sure you use good quality mic leads. And on that note about mic leads as well, because you can increase the gain stage from the box, if you're doing ultra long cable runs, it's another excellent tool for that as well to make sure you don't get a drop off in signal over a monstrous cable run. So, um, yeah, just dynamic microphones, passive ribbon microphones, any microphone that needs tons of gain, this is your go to. It will save you bacon, I'm sure. I'm actually going to do some more experimental videos with it. I'm 
because I get asked a lot about recording uh, acoustic guitars with SM57s, 58s, recording drum kits with 257s. So um, I might get on to Roger at Cloud Microphone, see if you can send me another one, or the two-channel version, which they also do, and uh, try recording the drum kit in the Recorder Man style with 257s, because I think that extra bit of gain uh, might make them sound a little bit more musical and less sort of flat. So... Um, I know what I mean there, and um, hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate it. Anyway, that's a quick little video today. That's the Cloud Microphones Cloud Lifter CL1. It's a single channel uh, Cloud Lifter. There's also the dual channel one. Great piece of kit. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And if, you, if you've got anything specifically that you'd like me to demo it with, I will do my best for you. That's all for today. Stick out.